If you have the DJI Osmo, or you're gonna get it, and you wanna know how to take the best cinematic footage with this, then we're gonna share that with you in today's video. Let's roll that intro. Hey guys, and welcome to Ben's Guide, where we bring you the best news, reviews, and how-tos from the world of photography and video. If you're new here, consider subscribing for new videos every single week. Now, I have been using the DJI Osmo Pocket now since it was released, and I am continually impressed with the footage you're able to get and achieve with this tiny camera. I wanna share with you in this video today the settings that I and other video creators use to achieve the best cinematic footage. The first step is to connect the Osmo Pocket to your phone, and you can do that with the adapter which is provided in the box. Plug the adapter into your phone and make sure you're connected to the DJI app. When your app is open, switch over to video mode. Then go straight over to follow mode. This is gonna give you the best, smoothest, most cinematic footage. Now we can switch over to pro mode. This is gonna give us full control over our settings. When shooting cinematic footage, we wanna shoot at the highest resolution. So we wanna make sure we switch over to this here. Next is frame rate. If you want the most film-like footage, choose 24 frames per second. This is gonna give you the best results. The only time you wanna avoid 24 frames per second is when you're creating silky smooth, slow motion footage. In this case, you have two options. You have 4K at 60 frames per second, or alternatively, you have 120 frames per second at 1080p. Now this is gonna be lowering the resolution, which means that the quality won't be quite as good but you will get better slow motion footage. Finally, hit super fine to ensure the best quality. Now let's jump into the pro features. Change your white balance to fit the scene, or you can keep it on auto. Auto will do a good job for most scenes, but when it doesn't, you can switch between the white balance options here to find the right one for your scene. The next option is color. This allows you to choose normal or cine-like. Basically put, cine-like is very similar to a flat video profile. This means that if you want to color grade your footage, this is gonna give you a flat video profile to give you the best results to color grade with. You can also toggle on grid lines, which is an option that enables you to basically see the rule of thirds as you're filming. This can be helpful to ensure that you've got the right composition when you're filming your footage. If you want to ensure that you're not blowing out the highlights, then you can also enable exposure tip. This marks everywhere that is overexposed with zebra lines, so you can readjust your exposure. The histogram is a great way to see the exposure of your image showing you your shadows and your highlights, and if you need to fix them. Finally, keep focus mode on AFC for cinematic footage. This basically means auto focus continuous, keeping focus continuous while on your screen. The DJI Osmo also comes with manual mode. This gives you complete control over all your settings, which is really handy. Starting with the ISO, you wanna focus on keeping this as low as possible. This is gonna ensure the best quality with your footage. When shooting at 24 frames per second for cinematic footage, you're gonna to need to double your shutter speed. So dial this in to the number 50. If you're looking to shoot at 60 frames per second for slow motion footage, double this to 120 and the same applies for 120 frames per second, double this to 240. If you're shooting in manual mode, use your histogram to ensure that you have the right exposure range. 
too far to the right is too bright and too far to the left is going to be too dark. Sometimes when you're out filming in very bright sunny conditions, it's very difficult to get the exposure right and the highlights are going to look blown out. The simple and effective way to deal with this is to use an ND filter. Basically put, this is sunglasses for your camera. This simply slots onto the end of your lens and darkens down your footage. This means that you can control exposure a lot better and ensure that your exposure is correct. In the description of this video, we've added a link to the best and most affordable ND filters designed specifically for the Osmo Pocket. So if you're interested, check that out at the end of the video. Also, holding the phone and the Osmo Pocket while connected can be a little bit tricky, especially when you're trying to get that smooth footage. The best way to avoid this and keep a good grip on the Osmo Pocket and phone is to use a mini tripod holder. You can easily hold it with one hand and then you can also put it down somewhere and shoot footage of yourself. Switch your Osmo Pocket into follow mode and then use this as a stand to get great shots from different angles. These are just two inexpensive ways to improve your cinematic footage alongside the tips you've learned in this video. If you've enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one.